Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have to uh, confess that I have never heard um, Sergei Lavrov, the foreign minister of the Russian Federation, use this kind of language referring to an entity uh, or a human being, which could be an entity. And he calls the Germans thieves. This is according to Russia Today. I have this article from December 21st, 2023. And let's see what is the context in which the Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, Lavrov Sergei, calls the Germans thieves. Germans are quote-unquote thieves, Lavrov said. Americans are advising the European Union how to get around their laws to seize Russian assets. Moscow's top diplomat has said. Washington is directing Western efforts to find a legal loophole to steal Russian assets worldwide and use them to fund the government in Kiev, Lavrov said at a press conference on Thursday. German officials in Karlsruhe announced this week plans to seize almost $800 million in assets from a Russian bank's account in Frankfurt due to alleged violations of European Union sanctions. Lavrov reached, reacted to the news by calling the German authorities kleptomaniacs. You know what a kleptomaniac is, right? A person who can help stealing, getting other people's stuff. And I'm quoting, they are thieverish. We, are, we realized this a long time ago. They have been treacherous all along in political terms, you know, in the sense of renegating, reneging, reneging, I guess, on agreements and trying to deceive someone. Now they are turned out to be thieves in the literal sense, end quote. Well, he called them thieves. Lavrov told journalists following his visit to Tunisia. The Russian diplomat said the West is, and I'm quoting, laser focused on the idea of finding some legal way to confiscate Russia's assets, starting with redirecting the interest from the currency frozen funds to, currently frozen funds to Ukraine. The Europeans, I'm quoting, still have some rudimentary respect for their own laws, so they are delaying these discussions. But According to our sources, behind the scenes, the Americans are advising them how to change these laws to steal everything, end quote, he explained. Last year, around 260 billion euros, which is 285 billion dollars, of Moscow's central bank assets were immobilized in G7 countries, the EU and Australia. An estimated 210 euros, 210 billion euros, which is $230 billion, of Russia's reserves were held in Europe, with 191 billion euros in Belgium, 19 billion euros in France, and 7.8 billion in non-EU member Switzerland. Germany has blocked some 5.3 billion euros of Russian assets in its financial institutions, according to official data. Authorities in Berlin are reportedly now targeting the assets of a Moscow stock exchange subsidiary at the German branch of JP Morgan. However, a spokeswoman for the Frankfurt on the Mine court told TASS that the motion was still under quote unquote, preliminary consideration. Russian finance minister Anton Siluanov warned on Thursday that, and I'm quoting, an absolutely symmetrical response will follow, end quote, if the European Union decides to tap into profits generated from the frozen funds. He noted that they are, and I'm quoting, sufficient foreign assets held in specialized ruble denominated bank accounts, including divid divided reserves, liabilities to counterparties from unfriendly countries. The Russians claimed on multiple occasions that it's kind of useless to talk with the European Union or to European countries because they don't display or they don't show any uh, independent foreign policy from the United States. 
Uh, Lavrov, I know, said before that we should just talk to the Americans uh, regarding the European foreign policy, not with the European Europeans, because every time we talk today, tomorrow is changed by the Americans and we start over. That's in one of his interviews. Do I think it's right? I think it's quite accurate, quite accurate. The thing is, the vice, vice versa doesn't happen. That tells you the relationship between a boss and a subordinate. Well, what can you do? Uh, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, ridiculous, uh, stupid to just allow yourself to be protected by someone who bombed a few countries on false pretenses and slapped sanctions on whatever country doesn't do what they want them to do. I mean, it's dangerous because that is uh, that person has no um, allegiance, no um, loyalty, no values. It seems like in the international arena, they claim they have. They claim to have and to want to achieve a rule-based world order, but they are, you know, outside of those rules that are never mentioned, are all, always mentioned as rule-based. But what are the rules, as Lavrov asked on multiple occasions? I asked for a list. I'll ask for the list, my colleagues, as they call them, partners, colleagues from the European Union and Americans. Can you give me the list so I know how I can maneuver? I've never received the list because the list is not supposed to be printed because once it's printed, there will be people, some like me, pointing out that the hypocrites broke that law, that law the hypocrites broke that law, violated that one, and so on. So therefore, they leave it ambiguously and they say that only when they want to achieve something. Now, is it thievery? I think it is. I think it is, it is thievery right there. And it's not because it's Russia. Imagine other countries who see this happening, even within European Union, that might do business with Americans or, you know, and they realize that their assets are not safe whatsoever. It's the same thing as our supposedly private property is safe. It's not safe. If they want, they can take your property. And they're going to pay you for that. But you don't want to sell it. Remember, if really a bank or a government, a government wants to take your property away, it has to do one thing, legal, legally, increase the, uh, the tax, uh, the property tax, and they're going to bankrupt you. They don't have to ban guns. They will just make ammunition so expensive that nobody can buy any. So you're going to have empty guns. You can carry them how much you want. But some bad dudes will have guns with ammunition in it. So it's not hard the same. If they want to get away or, or, or um, take care of the fossil fuel and the combustion engine, they're in the process. They subsidize the other industry, battery. And they will make yours, by taxation, very hard to achieve. A gallon of, let's say, a gas will be $100. You will never buy a uh, combustion engine vehicle, ever. You're going to buy the battery one that has subsidies, like it has $7,400 subsidies. If I buy right now a car with a battery, battery operated, I get a tax when I file my taxes. I get, you know, a discount of 7,200 or 7,400, doesn't matter. So what does it mean? It's an incentive given by the government to me to buy this product and don't buy that one. That's what they do. And remember, when they give me these uh, tax bra uh, breaks, they say tax breaks, who's paying that? Everyone else, including the guys who drive combustion engine cars. It's a theory in your face. So I can't, you know, uh, say, yeah, you're doing the right thing hurting the Russians. But who is hurting the Russians? Well, the Russians are bad. Are the guys hurting the Russians good? Look around. Look around. It's, it's not hard. It's not hard, my friends. Look what happens, for instance, to Trump. Do you think that's right? I don't think that's right. He is the main arrival, the opposition, the same thing as Imran Khan in Pakistan. He's jailed. 
my friends. Eliminating competition this way, it's easier than the Soviets did, the communists. Lublyanka or somewhere in a forest with a pre-dug hole. You just fall in it and that's it. Like Katyn Forest Massacre conducted by the <laughs> Soviets and KVD, right? Who are those? Well, why don't you look at their names? Because th their names are there. I can give you some, but not here. Just look for that, okay? Katyn Forest. Look for the Commissars and look for Kaganovich for a change. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.